Holy. That sounded really weird. What's up, guys? This is the Viking next to John Gramer. Or T Bay with John Gramer. I'm your host, John Gramer, and. Oh my goodness. This wing cannot get any better. First, obviously, today, the Vikings finally beat Russell Wilson for the first time. And as I said in my last video, actually, not my last video, literally like seven hours ago. In 2015, the Seahawks beat us 30-7. to In 2018, we lose 21-7 to to the Seahawks. 2019, the Seahawks beat us 37-30. to 2020, the Seahawks beat us 27-26. to this year we beat the Seahawks thirty to seventeen. And oh my gosh, it was I getting nervous late in the game. Because obviously we had a two point we had a two score we had a two score. We had a two touchdown lead on them. They would need two touchdowns to take the lead on us. So I knew we had we had a very secure lead, but we were fa were facing Russell Wilson. He always torches us so I knew that there was still a game as long as there was time left on the clock up until the Seahawks couldn't get out of bounds with three seconds left and the clock ran out. So to start, the Vikings defense wasn't looking very good early on. We allowed the two touchdowns on the Seahawks' two first drives. First, it's 7-0, to zero, but, then the, but the Vikings offense continued to play decent. Got a touchdown to Tyler Conklin to tie it up seven to seven, and then the Seahawks score again and make it fourteen to seven. We couldn't score, and yeah, that they, they go up seventeen to seven on us. But then later in the game, we clutch up and score two straight touchdowns to put us up twenty one to seventeen at the half, and then we could just continue to score twenty. We go up twenty four to tw twenty four to seventeen, twenty seven to seventeen, and then eventually thirty to seventeen. And on the later drives, I was I was hoping we could get a touchdown, but I knew field goals with so late in the game, and we already had a good score, a good lead on them. I knew field goals were good enough, but a, a touchdowns would be pretty nice. But yeah, and then also. Gosh, the 4th and 12 before the Vikings had their last drive, that was so close. First of all, Russell Wilson escaped. He he made a great play. He escaped well, and he also made a perfect pass. Harrison Smith was just an inch too quick, though, because they had their receiver butt naked wide open in the... Butt naked... Butt naked... But, I can't speak. Butt naked wide open in the end zone, and... Good, I'm still going. And but Harrison Smith came in at just the right time. His arm actually went over, and the ball came in here. But yeah, we still got in. Actually, it, it looked like he might have gotten an interception, but I'm glad that they didn't rule it as that because we would have gotten the we would have gotten the ball at the 20 yard line. Though that means more field more field for us to work with too run out more clock but it's still good and gosh I, I was let's see they had they had 23 seconds to do something to do anything at the very end first of all whatever his first name what first name Barry I don't know what his first name is but our punter got a perfect punt to put them at the one yard line I got a lot of peas in there so that that ran off a good amount of time. So they have only have 23 seconds left to get those few plays to get them into better field position. Already then, I was thinking, yeah, they. it's almost impossible that for them to win. First of all, they need a touchdown, which is highly unlikely. And then they need... Uh, they need to recover an onside kick, which actually happens to me, which is actually less likely than converting on a fourth and 15. Not sure what the probabilities are, but that just shows how unlikely it, it is to recover an onside kick. And then they would need to score another touchdown. So they would need three miracles in 23 seconds. I don't even know if they would be able to, I don't even know if with all, with all that field, I don't know if they'd be able to do all that in 23 seconds. First of all, a touchdown would run the, 
clock down to like 10 seconds. The onside kick might run off a second or two, so let's say eight seconds left. And then, yeah, I guess they could score after that, but it was still really unlikely. Anyways, also, I actually... Actually, whatever. Justin Tucker breaks the record for longest field goal by two yards. 66 yards against the Lions. I actually watched the replay... It, at first, it was looking like it would be a decently good. I say decently good. Like, it would actually clear the crossbar. It comes in, hits the crossbar, and then bounces out. That's how close it was. I remember Phil Dawson, I think I think it was maybe Phil Dawson, kicked a 61 or 62-yarder back in 2013 against the Packers. And... It, his kick just hit the crossbar and went in. So whenever it's a crossbar, like that shows, that is near miss. You give it an inch farther back, and it's possible that it doesn't make it. But yeah, that was an insane kick. Um, I was actually just watching MMG's reaction to it, and he he says he he was about to cry, and you could hear you could hear why why I say that. Just listening to him talk, he sounded like he was about to cry. But anyways, back to the Vikings. This is actually insane. And oh yeah, as I was saying, this weekend couldn't get any better. First, we beat the Seahawks. And also yesterday, I had a cross-country meet and I beat my older sister's PR by 12 seconds. I got 19.12. She, her, her record was 19.24. That's for a 5K, which is 3.1 miles. My friend also broke 19 minutes, and I, I had another friend who beat me by one second. I, I didn't really care, though, because I know he's faster than me, even though I did beat him at the last, at the race before that. But, yeah, I am so excited. I could have ended the video, like, five minutes ago, but I want to get into ten minutes. We're at, oh, we're at almost eight minutes in. I might try to keep on rambling off. Or I might just end the video right here. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Remember to hit this remember to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and comment about the video. Oh well, John, that, that was insane. I know I can't believe the Vikings actually beat Russell Wilson. Wow, great job on your race yesterday, John. Nineteen twelve, that's insane. I actually put this on later in the game. I I forgot about putting on Vikings gear. Yeah, and also, I'm actually wearing my SJSU shirt. My older sister went here, the sister that I beat yesterday. Go Jackrabbits. I don't care about the Gophers at all. Yeah. So, as always, always remember, the Packers will always suck. And school Vikings.